Ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to spy on your actual competitors in Google ads in 2024. Now, a lot of people who run Google ads want to know what their competition is doing, try to one up them and just always be in the know. And that's fine with me. Honestly, uh, <laughs> if you're spending money on the platform. I'm happy to keep you updated. So this is how we do it here at Tradesman Digital Marketing to make sure we know what the actual competition is doing, seeing what we're doing and then comparing it to what they're doing, seeing what's working and what's not working and just getting a better overall overall idea of what the market wants and what the market doesn't want. So without further ado, let's get into it and use my favorite tool inside of Google ads. And that is the Google ads transparency tool. When it comes to spying on competition, you can go to Google type in transparency tool. This will pop up. And essentially what it allows you to do is type in any advertiser or website name, and it will literally just show you all of their ads, everything they're doing essentially inside of Google ads. It's an amazing tool, absolutely free. And this is by far the best data you can get compared to all the other paid tools out there. This is a direct source from Google. It's not third party information. So this is as accurate as possible and uh, is really, really nice. So what I would recommend doing, if you don't know who your competitors are, just going into Google search and typing in what your service is. Maybe it's pool installation, maybe it's plumbing, maybe it's you know, fence insulation, whatever it is, typing, you know, fence insulation, pool insulation near me, you should have a few ads pop up, you can see sponsored ads here. And we have a whole bunch of pool companies pop up, please don't click on these links as it costs the actual company money. Also, it may actually increase their click through rate, which would actually help their quality score, which you'd probably be doing them a service at the end of the day, uh, with an increasing click through rate. Uh, but yeah, I, I just wouldn't, I wouldn't click on it. Don't be a bad person. <laughs> That being said, for this one, we're going to go with Action Home Services. They're a pool installation company. And what you can see down here is the actual link in the bottom left corner of the screen. It says Bayview Landscapes, Pools. You can just type that into Google. Instead of clicking on it, type it in. That's what I did for Action Home Services here. And then their website pops up. There's no Google Click ID, meaning it didn't charge them any money. Uh, again, you know, do on to others how you would be treated. You know how that goes. <laughs> That being said, we're into the actual landing page here. And um, what we're going to do is copy this, come over here to the actual transparency section. And uh, as you can see, Action Home Services pops up. We're going to click on that. And then as you can see, these are all our, their ads. They're not running a lot of ads, um, but they are running a couple. So we can click on this. We can see the format last shown. So this is you know running today, as you can see. And really, they're not doing a terrible job. Uh, I would like to see a, probably a few more ads. I don't know why they're so limited in what they're doing, to be honest with you, because if you have all these different services, you should have different you know, ad groups. There should be a lot going on. One of the things I find when we're researching competitors is a lot of their ads are not good. And we've had clients in the past say like, what, what, what can we steal from them? What can we do? And we look at their ads and their ads are just terrible. It's like, just make your own ads. Like, <laughs> like if you just literally came up with random ads, they would be better than this because their ads are so poor. And as you can see, Action Home Services, if you're actually typing in, I don't know, maybe they're you know, typing in landscaping services, your ad should not read Action Home Services, it should read landscaping services, or are you looking for landscaping services, or you know, 24 seven landscaping service, something that addresses the problem, not the company name. It, it's just a waste of space. And as you can see right off the bat, eh, that's just not something we wanna be doing. People don't care about your brand name. They care about what their problem, how you can solve it. So it could be looking for landscaping services, you know, two year guarantee on everything, call now for a free quote. That explains and really incentivizes the person to contact you and click on your ad. These ads, not great. Moving forward, now that we've addressed these ads, some of them are good, some of the stuff you can take and like, you know, reword and stuff like that, but a lot of them, not great. Uh, moving forward, let's go to the actual landing page here and see what we're working with. And by the way, we're essentially done with the ads. We know how to address and find the ads. Uh, so that's a big part of actually looking and spying on your competitors here. Looking at Action Home Services landing page, uh, they have a few landing pages. I'm assuming they're just running it to this. The issue with running Google ads to your main website, and this is their main website, is there's a lot of information here. You want to actually use a landing page, something super simple. If it just said, looking for swimming pool installation and then listed a whole bunch of benefits, two-year guarantee, award-winning pools, 500 plus testimonials, and then it had a form and a call button, and that was it, and maybe your logo up here, this would perform substantially better than what we have now. This means absolutely nothing to 900% per <laughs> to 900%, to 100% of people. 
because people don't want to read. They just want to scan. And this is something that you learn when you actually build landing pages and you read a lot about it. People scan, they don't read. Uh, people are lazy. So this, all of these social proof, this is amazing. This should be here. This is amazing. But having your call to action button here, which is free estimate, and then your phone number up here, why is this not more prominent? Why is this not down here where it should be, where your eyes are naturally gonna go to? All of these links, this is just a distraction. This is causing something called cognitive overload. People are gonna get stressed out because it's like, well, what type of pool installation do you want? Do you want vinyl pools, plunge pools, swimming pool permit drawings, hot tubs and swim spas, pool heater upgrade, pool equipment replacement? This is just gonna overwhelm the person. They're gonna go, that's too much work, I'm leaving. And now you've wasted money because they clicked your ad and then they left. So this is not something to do when it comes to running Google ads. You want to have your own separate landing page, something super simple. We have an entire video on landing pages. I'll link it up above, but this should be completely simplified and just made easier to read and make the entire process a lot easier. Also, they have a chat bot here. I'm not a super big fan of chat bots just because now we have three calls to action. We have a chat bot, we have a free estimate, and now we have a phone number. And let's see when we click the free estimate. Now it goes to a separate page, gives us a whole bunch of other options. This form should be here. And then you should have, you know, get a call or call now button, or maybe a form, or maybe a pop up for the actual form. So you could have a get a quote now. And then when you click it, form pops up or the actual call button and then list all your benefits and stuff. Keep it super simple. This is overcomplicated. So we're not, I wouldn't recommend stealing anything off this website other than maybe this. This is pretty nice. Um, everything we know about pool installation. Uh, this isn't terrible, but again, just a lot of stuff. There's no real definition here of what we're looking at. Like we want to guide the person through a journey. Uh, this is like, if I typed in pool installation, I, I'm probably not in the position to be educating these people. People probably want to know hey, I typed in pool installation near me, I'm looking to install a pool and you're educating them on vinyl fiberglass or concrete or ICF. People probably just wanna to talk to you at this point. They don't want, they don't wanna go through this entire thing. Um, this is so much information that you could talk to the customer over the phone with when you have them on. Don't make them read all this stuff. This is, this is just a ton of data they don't need to be reading. You should be going through social proof like you have up here, testimonials, you know, award-winning pools, things you've done, pictures of pools. This is good, this is good. But all this stuff, this is a lot of data that most people are just not going to read and they're just gonna get overwhelmed and step away from this because it's just too much stuff. The frequently asked questions section, absolutely awesome. I love these for um, landing pages because they're super simple. And uh, if someone has a specific question, I, I really do like that. Locations and service areas, not terrible. I would probably just put a map, make it simple, you know, like a big red circle around what service areas you do or, you know, Google map, something that's easy. Uh, again, the companies you work for that or the companies you work with, certified professionals, these are the good products we use, the companies we work with. Again, social proof, that's amazing. Designing around your swimming pool. Tell me how you're gonna help me. I don't care about what you have. I wanna know if you can fix my problem. That's all the customer cares about. They don't care about you or your business. They care about knowing that you can solve their problem. Uh, the footer here, again, there's just a lot of links. I would get rid of these. Uh, the more links you have, the lower the conversion rate is normally gonna be because people just start clicking on stuff and then they get overwhelmed and they leave. So this is not something I'd be stealing from. However, if we went through a whole bunch of competitors landing pages and we found one that we really liked, maybe we could use that. And this is something that does take time and it does take a lot of work, but it is something that you can actually get data from and actually improve uh, your account. More often than not, people don't have great Google ads. Uh, <laughs> they just don't, people don't take the time to do it. So stealing information from them is sometimes good, sometimes bad, uh, but it'll be up to you. Now, if we wanna see the actual keywords they're using, we can actually use the Google ads keyword tool, completely free up here. Uh, and then you just go into keyword planner and then pick a few out of the actual keywords you wanna target. And then you can see the actual uh, competition here. You can see low, high. This is pretty accurate. If you wanna use a paid tool, I'd recommend SEM Rush. This helps you figure out a few more of the keywords. But even that, when we come over here to SEM Rush here, we can come in here. Let's do, what was the company here? Action Home Services. We will copy this, we'll paste it into this. Let's see that, let's see what they're doing. Uh, let's see if we have anything pop up here. And SEM Rush, I think it's like free for the first 10 searches or something like that. And uh, it's it's a nice little tool just to see kind of what they're betting on. As you can see, top organic results, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for actual paid. And they don't really have any paid research. If you have a massive company doing 
Google Ads, more often than not, it will pop up here. But if it's a smaller company, chances are it's not going to pop up in here. And that's one of the downsides of using SEMrush or, you know, SpyFu or some type of paid program. It's not always perfect. And even if you do get data on it, it's not always perfect on that either. They have very, very good and accurate organic keywords. Uh, but when it comes to paid, Google keeps a pretty tight hold of all of that data and they don't really give it away. Also, one thing to know is as we've been seeing through this entire video, the ads of this company weren't great. The landing pages of this company weren't great. How do you think the keywords are going to be? <laughs> like we already know they're running this landing page with this ad on stuff that is just not related. And they're probably getting very poor results, but they don't know it because they're not really tracking anything. We don't always want to copy our competition is my point here. And they may have good keywords. They may not have good keywords. My guess is they don't have great keywords. <laughs> so what the entire point of this video is take what is useful and discard what isn't useful. Sometimes you'll find great information on here. You'll see an amazing landing page design. You'll see great ad copy. And you'll be like, we can implement that. Other times you'll see it and you'll go, this is just not good. And we should just ignore this. And even if your client says, listen, like, this company's massive, they're doing this. And it's like, yeah, look at their landing page, it's terrible. It doesn't matter how big they are. It doesn't matter how much money they have. They're still doing it wrong and we can get better results if we just do our own thing. So more often than not, it's better to just go with your own thing. Take what's useful, discard what isn't, as I said. Now, moving forward, we do need to optimize all of this stuff, our landing pages, our ads, our keywords. And you might wanna check out the Google Ads optimization checklist. It's completely free and the link for it is down below. It walks you through and what to do on a weekly, monthly and three month basis also lets you jot down your results so you can see that you're improving month over month. Now, if you have any questions regarding spying on your competitors or finding data from other places, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you have any tools to spy on your competitors and get more data out of it, let me know as well. Um, I'm always you know, interested in learning more stuff and I only know so much. So if you have any cool tools that you think I should use, let me know in the comments down below. On that, you guys have a wonderful day. Take care and I wish you all well.